Uh, hello everybody, good evening. This is Annette, just coming to you with the evening video. It is dinner time. Um, I'm at, I have an onion in my hand, so I'm trying to cut up some, what you make some chopped onions. Um, we have some veggie grillers crumbles. They're actually vegetarian, um, I guess like fake meat crumbles. I guess I put it that way. Because I'm actually going to be making some tacos or burritos. Um, whichever one, because we have the soft shells, that kind of thing as well. So you can either roll it up and make a taco or, or fold it in half to make the taco or roll it up for the burrito. So and I have the taco seasoning as well. So like I said, right now I'm just cutting up the onion. And I hope everybody is doing well. Uh-oh. Hi, kitty kitty. <laughs> but I hope everybody's doing well. And like I said um, before in the last video, I'm definitely trying to uh, make more healthier meals, I guess I put it that way. Instead of just having the same old, same old and trying to make more healthier meals, and I know one of the ways I know I've done that in the past was actually for vegetarian foods and stuff like that. So um, I really haven't, haven't been a big fan of eating all the meats, I guess I put it that way. The main thing are the fake meats. I don't know what you want to call them. <laughs> Meatless meats. But the main thing that I've actually eaten like that was just like those, um, like the veggie burgers and the black bean burgers and stuff like that. So I don't know if anybody else is on here. If you all have ever made any, um, any vegetarian tacos before, if so, let me know down below in the comments. And like I said, this actually shouldn't even take that long. It should take just a few, a few moments. As soon as I get this darn onion, for some reason I'm having the hardest time with this onion. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but that's okay. I'm having the hardest time getting these things off this onion. I gotta take the whole skin off because that's taking too long. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. Well, like I said, that's definitely what I'm making today. I don't know if you all have made something over the weekend or anything. If so, let me know as well. I don't know if anybody's on here yet because the last time I couldn't really tell and I couldn't see if anybody else was on here. So. But if you are, definitely say hi. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. And today is Monday, I think December the 20th, I want to say. The 20th or 21st. 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 Thank you. 21st. <laughs> I forgot the date, y'all. It's my first day back from vacation, actually. Um, went back to work today, so. Was off since last. Um, well, I guess last Tuesday was actually my last day in the office. I guess I put it that way. So, uh oh, I'm trying to get this going. Okay, here we go. Had to adjust it just a little bit, but I think it's, it's all right. But like I said, this is definitely um, an easy meal. It shouldn't take um, for you any busy mom, busy dads, that kind of thing, getting home from work. It shouldn't take about uh, 20 minutes at the most. I won't even say 20 minutes unless you already have. Unless you don't want onions and that kind of thing in there, then you don't have to worry about chopping up anything. So, but if, like me, I'm chopping up some veggies. This is the only thing that I'm gonna put in here because I didn't get any jalapeno. But speaking, I had some at home and, it, and did not even have any. So, like that's okay. So we're just gonna roll with some onion today. And like I said, that's all that's gonna be put in there besides the meat crumbles and that's it. And the taco seasoning actually. So, like I said, it's pretty a pretty simple meal. I have, we already had the tortilla shells. We have big ones for a burrito if you like. And like I said, we have the small ones as well. So, so that should be awesome. And I went to the, went to Schnooks this morning actually and got um, some, uh, like a tub of sour cream. Um, they had um, cheese on sale this morning. So I did make sure I got, um, Ooh, Lord, this onion. <laughs> I made sure that I got some packs of cheese as well. They had buy two, get one free. So I got three packs of, of shredded cheese. And usually I'm actually the one that's cutting up. I'm mean, actually grating all my cheese, actually. So, But this time, like I said, I took the easy way out and went ahead and bought the cheese I already shredded. So you can do that as well. I actually have an avocado that I'm going to be putting in mine once I do get mine cooked because I can't um, have it in the other food because my partner is allergic to avocado. So... I have to, um, of course, make that once I'm, uh, uh, touch that and cut that once I'm done actually cooking this meal, so, so I can put that in my, because I'm, I'm going to make, make me a burrito, and we have salsas and stuff like that, I might have like a really big salsa fan, I actually love sour cream and guacamole, actually, those are my favorites, but, but like I said, definitely however you want to make your burrito or taco, you can definitely feel free, you can use these on the, um, the hard shell or the soft shell, it really doesn't matter. 
all of ours are of hard shell. I mean, are, are actually soft shell because um, I don't have any hard shells. I don't really care for the hard shells too much because they get, they, at least for me, they'll cut like the top of my mouth and all that kind of stuff and they hurt me when I try to chew them. So cut my mouth and all that kind of stuff. So not every time, but sometimes. I'm like, I'd rather just deal with the soft and be done with that. So, so that's just my preference. Like I said, you can definitely um, use what you want instead of your taco or your burrito. Like I said, the main thing is just getting um, getting your veggies cut. If you want onions, I wanted jalapeno, but didn't, but didn't get one. So uh, next time I'll have some. Next time I shall have some, y'all. Right now I got the onions in this skillet, so they're going to be sauteing for a few moments. And I just used the regular nonstick um, canola cooking spray, that's all. Just a cheap little cooking spray I got from, I don't know, Aldi maybe. I don't know where, Walmart, one of the two. So like I said, it's not really a lot that you're putting into this meal. This is very simple, so. And like I said, I don't know if anybody else is out there made anything like this. This is my, I believe this is my first, I'm trying to see, because in the past I've made stuff like this before too. I want to actually know this is my first time making this actually. This is my first time actually making this, I believe. Because the times before that I actually used meat in it. So, so this is my first time. Oh. I'm going to put this onion up. I guess I'll take out the stuff while I'm over here, actually. Um, I'm getting the sour cream and stuff, y'all. I got shredded lettuce. And I have Mexican cheese somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Okay, there we go. Cause like I said, I have um, a box of cheese this morning, so I have Mexican style shredded cheese. And you can use any kind of cheese that you like. Um, and I have the shredded lettuce, and you can get that from any store, Walmart, Schnucks, or whatever is in your area, any Aldi's, whatever kind of store you have. And then I got a tub of sour cream as well. And like I said, I put avocado on mine. His just won't have, but I guess they're hitting him and his daughter, they won't have any, but I'll have it. So like I said, it definitely shall be tasty, I'm pretty sure. Oh. And these crumbles, it says you make it just like hamburger, basically. So, um, I know I have to probably put some olive oil in there, though. So just keep in mind when you're cooking foods with the meatless meat. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, I don't know what the technical name is, actually. But, but like I said, you definitely have to add some kind of oil to the um, to the pan. And I have a um, thing of olive oil that I'll be adding. Not thing of but a, a few tablespoons of olive oil that I'll be adding. So, I don't know where to cook with the cooking spray. I'm not really sure because it's like I said, my first time making these with the with this type of meat. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of olive oil and that's it. Uh oh, shouldn't need that much. I'm assuming this should be it. That was probably about a tablespoon maybe at the most. And also, I know I have a tortilla there in the. Let me get it my. I have two sizes actually. Um, somewhere in the fridge. Let me see. Uh oh. I have the big ones that I have the small ones. And I'm probably going to actually take a big one so I can put my avocado in there. So these are what size is this? <laughs> Lord, it just says large. Large burrito. So I guess it's large burrito. And these are 8 inch. These are small ones are 8 inch. So these are probably 10 inch for the bigger ones. Nine or 10 inch, I'm gonna assume. Probably nine inch. Cause it's like one more inch bigger than that, so. But like I said, you can definitely use any kind that you want to use, it's kind of up to you. Um, if you want the hard taco shells, you can definitely use that as well. Like I said, I'm just using the soft because that's what I like, so. And it doesn't cut the top of my mouth. So put it simple when I'm trying to eat that kind of thing. It's so crunchy, so. I guess I'm putting the meat in there now. Or the meat is meat in there now. I'm gonna stir that until it gets warm. I think that's really about all in the skillets. I gotta read the directions, y'all, for this one. <laughs> Let me see. It just says for two minutes. Okay, well, it's not that long to cook. Okay, well, well about four, two, two to four minutes. So it don't, you don't even cook that long, y'all. And I'm not sure what's in it. I never knew what was. I mean, I know I have time to read it to y'all, but it says water, soy flour, corn oil, yeast extract, carrot and orange. I mean, onion juice, cooked onion juice, and soy ingredients is what it says. So I'm not sure what all that entails, but whatever it is, it is meatless. 
um, meatless meat is morning star forms, veggie grillers. So like I said, it should be good. Uh -oh, I'm trying to put some more of this oil in there. I may actually add this a little bit of water. So I put a little bit more olive oil just because it was getting st um, stuck to the bottom of the pan, actually, y'all. Um, I'm going to add some water in it, too. Oh, I'm going to cup. cup some water. I'm going to add uh, just a tiny bit of water. I know with that taco season, you're supposed to add a little bit of water anyway. Always. So, adding some of that in there. And I'm going to put the taco seasoning in there as well. So, you uh, Man, should I get that trash out of here? So like I said, I, I, I thank you all for tuning in. Hey, uh, Makiba and hey, Kim, I hope you all are doing well. I'm actually making some, some vegetarian tacos, actually. So just to let you all know. And they're, they, they, they seem very simple. This is my first time actually making this particular recipe. So I used, I just, uh, shoot, I just threw it in the trash. But there are some veggie grillers. It's like some um, meatless beef crumbles. Um... And then I just chopped up like a half of the onion as well. And I'm putting in the taco season because, like I said, they're going to be tacos or, um, well, I'm making mine burrito, but you can make it as tacos, burritos, whichever one you want to make. But that's what I'm doing with mine. So, like I said, I'm putting this whole entire pack of the taco seasoning in here. So, it should be awesome, I'm sure. It's my first time trying this, y'all, so it should be good. Um, we've been trying to make some different recipes because of course we both have to we're sure in one car now so we're getting up early in the morning like at 4 4 15 <laughs> to get ready and that kind of thing for the day to start our day so um so we've been trying to make some meals lately we have been cooking in the crock pot actually and i think i talked to y'all about that on the last video but we actually made some um some homemade clam chowder so um the next thing we're going to make is I hope tomorrow just depends on the veggies I have in the freezer actually because we weren't sure whether we had peas or not but we're going to make some um make a homemade um vegetable what is it? oh pot pie that's what it's called I'm about to say what is it but it's in the crock pot actually it takes like four and a half hours it said to cook but I don't know what kind of veggies I have yet to see we well I'll look soon I'm done so to see what we all have in there to, to cook with so as far as making an actual pot pie. So I actually bought the phyllo dough. Um, it's like a real thin pastry, like um, layered pastry dough. I bought like a pack of that earlier because that's what goes on top actually to give it like that, that crispy crust and that kind of thing. So, But now I just got to make sure we actually have the veggies. So, <laughs> All right. And this this, uh, this actually looks done because it said it just takes two to four minutes. So, And it smells good, y'all, actually. So if y'all get a chance to buy some, Kim or Makiba, Make sure that y'all definitely try it out. Like I said, it's definitely an easy recipe. Um, I, the only thing I did was just use a half of an onion chopped up. Um, the, um, the vegan or vegetarian beef crumbles, which was these. It's by Morningstar. And it's called Crumble Grillers. I mean, Grillers Crumbles, <laughs> I guess you could say. That's what I use. And then the, just a pack of taco seasoning. And like I said, I have the flour tortillas and all that kind of stuff. Like all your like the um, lettuce and sour cream and the cheese and all those kind of things. So and there's salsa as well. So like I said, definitely make it your own. So I'm putting a, a whole avocado on mine actually. So um, so that's the only one that we have the avocado because I love avocados. And then my partner is actually allergic to them. So and his daughter doesn't like them. So <laughs> so I'm definitely the only one eating the avocados. So so like I said, that definitely should be good as well. And I'll take, I'll snap a, a few pictures once I get everything on my actual um, tortilla shell because I'm actually done cooking this. So I want to thank you all for tuning in this evening. Like I said, this was a very, very quick and easy meal. This took maybe like 20 minutes to actually cook. So if you have a busy family, you're just getting out of work, that kind of thing. Like I said, it takes just about 20 minutes as long as you have all the other, like the shells and everything that you want to use with the tacos or your burritos in the house already. Instead of stopping at the store to buy stuff. So, so like I said, it's definitely easy to make. So, I just want to say thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all de definitely enjoyed this recipe. Um, everybody have a great night. Thank you all. See you all later. Bye-bye.